Hi, my name is Marie Drevillon. I'm head of the service evaluation of analysis and forecasting systems at Mercator Ocean International. In my service, we are familiar with MATLAB, which can be used to import, explore, visualize, and process physical and biogeochemical data. MATLAB can handle NetCDF files, which is the format of Copernicus Marine Service data, and it can also access directly many types of data servers. In this video, I will be showing you some basic functions of MATLAB. MATLAB is a full computing environment, which can be used to access Copernicus marine data in quite simple ways, to plot maps or time series of oceanic parameters of a particular area, to perform studies and comparison using Copernicus marine data, for instance, to follow the seasonal variation of ocean parameters, or to compare models with observations. MATLAB is developed by MathWorks. It's widely used for data analysis and visualization. It runs on Unix, Windows, and Mac. And you can buy licenses and download MATLAB here at this website, MathWorks. In this video, I will be using a demo version, which already has many powerful functionalities. With MATLAB, you may download data directly from the Copernicus Mo2 server or from WMS, RDAP, or FTP servers. In the user corner of the website, here, you will find the appropriate lines of code for these four protocols. In this video, I will show you how to use MATLAB to access the Copernicus Marine Data with a WMS protocol. I will illustrate this by showing you how to display the seasonal cycle of the sea ice extent in the Arctic using Copernicus Marine Service model products. Here. Arctic Ocean Physics Analysis and Forecast. So to do so, um, you go into the service tab of the product that you find on the catalog, and then you will right click on the product you're interested in to copy the link, the WMS link, which you can then paste into the MATLAB, um, into the MATLAB command line window. So paste here. So I will name this link, uh, we'll put it in a variable for further use. Okay, now the rest of the video, in the rest of the video, I will show you uh, common lines which are in a script. Uh, so I will copy paste from my uh, script here. So uh, now that I, I have my link, I will display some more information on the content of the server. OK, I go back to the MATLAB window. OK. So as you can see, um, we are on the dissemination unit of CMEMS. This is the link I found on the website. And we have this scientific data. And now we can display uh, what is uh, inside the layers of this WMS server. Um, OK, so I go back to my script. And now I have some command lines to display more information on uh, the content of the layers. OK, go back to my window, paste. We have several layers. In each layer, there is a variable. And the variable we are interested in is the uh, sea ice thickness. It is the seventh one. So I will put the seventh layer into a new variable. Here, ice thickness will contain the WMS info layer 7. OK. Paste. OK. So now that I have my variable, I will perform some operations with this variable. I will do some plots. And I will start with the conditions of March 2021. Okay, so to do this, I will uh, select a date, the longitude, latitude um, I want to display, and the style of the plot to start with. Okay, done. I go back to my script, and then I will create a matrix 
uh, which will contain the variable or the, the, the slice of variable I want to display for the date I'm interested in. Okay. So MATLAB has read the variable. I will now plot. So the, the common lines for the plot are here. So I will create a first figure and display my, my, dat my data. Okay, paste. So you obtain a new window with a figure. Uh, it is quite interactive, it's very nice, and you can uh, rotate, you can change the, um, the titles, you can change some parameters of the plot interactively, which is quite nice. So we keep this figure like that, and now we're going to plot. Um, um, we're going to plot together with this March conditions. We're going to plot the August conditions, so recent conditions. We are not uh, in September, which is the time when the ice, sea ice is minimum in the Arctic, but we already have uh, the month of August. So let's plot that. Um, so let's plot the conditions for August 2021 and see uh, the results. Okay, so I've changed the date and now I will reload in the variable, I will reload uh, the data for this date. So I copy paste the initialization of the matrix. into my MATLAB window, done. And now I will come back to my uh, plot command lines for figure two, which will display the conditions in August. Okay, here is figure two. So now we can compare the two figures, one and two. Let's find the first one, which is here. Okay. And you can see the seasonal cycle of sea ice now um, in between the month of March, when the sea ice is maximum in the Arctic, and the month of August, where you can see the marginal uh, seas are free from ice uh, during uh, the late summer. Thank you for watching this video. We hope you enjoyed it. You can access more tutorial videos in the user learning section on our website, on our YouTube channel. See you soon on the Copernicus Marine web portal and in our training workshops.